Hey YouTube, it's the five things I love about my car. So, number one, the acceleration. I, uh, I don't know why you buy this car unless you like a V8 and like to smash it and go really fast. That noise ain't your favorite, man. <laughs> I don't think we could be friends. Oh my God, that noise is amazing. Number two, I know this is a strange one, but it's just a pet peeve. I guess some of these are probably just pet peeves of mine, but I really like the fact that when I turn cruise control on and I turn the car off, like I, you know, we're on a long drive, I stop off and get a drink or something like that, get back on the road. My cruise control, I don't have to re-put it on. I just have to you know, hit resume and it takes me back to that speed I was already at. It's just a pet peeve, something I just, I like. I don't know if other people like it as much as I do, but I like it. YouTube number three so third thing is probably again just a pet peeve of mine but I really also like the fact that I can put recycled air on in any kind of configuration so if I want it at my feet I can have recycled air on if I'm putting it up to uh, my face or body I can use recycled uh, air feature which on my RAM I can't I can only use the one that goes on my face so if I want to use it at any other time and it might be humid out, it might, you know, fog up my windows or something like that, which I don't like. Just another thing that I enjoy about the car. I know it's a small thing, but I guess, you know, it's the small things in life. Number four. Uh, number four really is the miles per gallon considering it's a 455 horsepower car. Um, it was one of the reasons I chose it over the Challenger, which I considered, but I just couldn't get over the idea that I would be giving up this car with this power to weight ratio and still getting great gas mileage. I drove the car from Texas all the way home and got over 27 and a half miles per gallon. You know, that's with stops and getting on it a little bit and all that kind of good stuff. I, that's to me is just amazing. And uh, another thing I love about this car. So number five, number five is the electronics and, and really the uh, Apple CarPlay, the Android Auto, just being able to put that in, not having to worry about updating a nav and having the nav built in on this, which I don't want. Getting the music that I have already with uh, my Droid. Um, I actually have a Droid and an, an iPhone. I have an iPhone for work and a Droid is my personal device. But they both work on this flawlessly, works really well. One other thing, I don't know if I want to call it, you know, 5.1. The Bluetooth on this is just really good. I am able to walk up to the car. If I've walked away, I just did this the other day. Went to the ATM machine, walked over, got money. I assume it disconnected at that point. I came back to the car. As soon as I opened the door, I heard the Bluetooth click in, find my phone, and it was still set and ready to go. I didn't have to re-find it, which I have to do with, uh, with my RAM. Sometimes my RAM just completely loses it. So 5A or 5.1 or whatever you want to call it, I guess, is that Bluetooth piece. Really nice and really quickly finds your device and works well. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Oh.